Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and do a first impressions of a game called Dead Cells that I just started playing. I put about six hours into the game. Uh, I've beaten it once and I wanted to kind of share my thoughts with you guys. So for people who don't know, Dead Cells is kind of like a uh, roguelike, well I mean it is a roguelike style game, which basically a roguelike would be things kind of like Binding of Isaac. Uh, you know, when you go through the game, your weapon sets are randomized and you have a bunch of different options. You play around with RNG, uh, but it's a lot more kind of like skill based. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and kind of like explain what's going on as I play. So I've got two different weapon types to start from because of my starting set. Um, this is a weapon I actually don't want to use because Cursed Sword will actually kill me. Uh, so let me do this. Let me replace this with this. Okay, this is actually really weird. Let me. I guess I'll just use a Cursed Sword. This is probably not a good way to start because the Cursed Sword states that if you get hit, you die in one hit. So basically, if I get hit, I die. So let's make sure we don't get hit. Now, there's a bunch of different weapon types, which is pretty cool. Um, the weapon types are, are quite different, and you have, like, main hand and off hand. You can see I have, like, X and Y. Now, the other thing to note is that it doesn't... It's not really, like, main hand, off hand. You can have two of the same weapon if you want. Uh, which is pretty cool. So like here's an example. So this is, would be a kunai. I'm actually gonna replace this Because I don't want to die if I fuck up <laughs> And here would be a rapier now not all of these weapons are available like right off the bat I basically unlocked these uh, which allows me to use them right away and each weapon is different So let's take a little example the rapier inflicts a critical hit immediately after rolling so you roll and you can immediately, basically, you get guaranteed crits. The kunai is kind of like a homing, homing, uh, I guess, ranged attack that homes in and hits the target and applies a bleed to them. This would be a door that you can basically run through and access. You can pay gold for a chance at, well, not a chance, but kind of like a guaranteed piece of equipment. You have two uh, weapons you can use and you can just swap very easily, right? So you have two weapons. They have infinite ammo. The only exception is like, the kunai, for example, has 8 ammo, but if you kill the target, then you get your ammo back, and if you miss, you get your ammo back. So the only time you can't really get it back is on, like, elites and bosses, or if there's, like, 50 mobs in the room and you're trying to just kill them with that. Then you have skills, uh, which are kind of like your spacebar items and Binding of Isaac, but they can be offensive, too. Uh, you can have offensive skills or defensive skills. Majority of them, like, 95% are offensive. Uh, and then you have an amulet slot that kind of augments your character a little bit, so you can have, like, triple jump instead of double jump. Um, this one is... Your cells and your gold, cells is something we'll get into in a little bit. Your cells, basically, and all your gold can be picked up from anywhere. So if you're speed running, you don't have to worry about, you know, going back. Now, this is kind of like the customization of the game as well. This is called the scroll of power. And you can pick to allocate into one of your three stats. Health is your HP. All of these are multipliers. They're multipliers to your damage, multipliers to your health, and multipliers to your skills, active damage, and the cooldown timer, which is really cool. Um, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and just start off with health. And let's continue on and progress through. And I actually got really lucky because this is actually a damage one. So you can see weapon damage has been increased. Okay. Here is a shop and I don't really want... Actually, I'll take the, uh, I'll take the blood sword. Blood sword is pretty cool. So each zone, or uh, I guess you could say tile set, will have different monsters unique to that zone itself. There's also a few secrets on the map that you're going to have to go ahead and find if you choose to. Um, so this would be uh, basically zone 2, but instead of going to zone 2, you could continue and you could kind of full clear if you wanted to. Uh, full clearing will make the game significantly easier because obviously, you know, you're continuously gearing up, uh, you're getting better equipment, you're getting more upgrades, um, you're further customizing the weapon set that you choose to use. But on the flip side, uh, you can never really access any of like the speedrun secrets. So this would be a treasure, there's like a treasure chest and there's a cursed treasure chest. So I'm going to open this for the sake of the video. You have a chance of getting, I guess, an item, a bunch of random things. Um, however, you have outraged the gods, and if you take one hit without killing 10 units, you die. doesn't matter what it is. If you get hit, you die. So, um, but you get an item for free. So, for example, I just got a flashbang, which flashbang is cool because you can see it will stun them for three seconds. 
So let's make sure we don't die. Now, this is a extra life, but it does not protect against curses. And you can actually kill the door instead of paying for it. But if you kill it, then that will apply 30, which means my stacks will go to 40. I don't really feel that comfortable. I'm not that good at the game. <laughs> let's see what we have here. So that would be another area. I'm going to go ahead and skip that area. I'm also, I don't want to play crazy fast right now. Because I want you guys to kind of see, like, what's going on. Also, um, so that thing right there with the vine I just unlocked. There's kind of like these little hidden secrets. Like, this would be another one. And once you kill, like, the little mini bosses, um, they kind of get unlocked. And you can progress further on into the game. Kind of similar to the way, like, Binding of Isaac is laid out. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Toxic Sewers. Oops. So some of the basic keybinds would be like attack, you know, with one weapon, secondary weapon, jump would be A, double tap jump. You can actually, uh, with certain weapons, you can kind of halt yourself in the air while you're attacking. Um, you've also got your, your your common dodge roll with B, which is your eye, your uh, invon frame, and then you have like your downward smash, which is actually really good for clearing just basic monsters and whatnot. So an important thing to note is your progress does not save in this game unless you clear the area. So I cleared that area. We got 11 cells and you can see our gold at the bottom left there, 1400. So you get to this screen here and you can basically spend your cells on upgrades. As you play through the game, you'll unlock recipes. Your recipes will not carry over unless you complete the area. So here we completed the area, our cells carried over, and everything you see here is a permanent boost to your character throughout any playthrough. So um, when you find a recipe, your recipe will be beamed onto here and then you have to pay the amount of cells to unlock the recipe. Once you unlock the recipe, certain recipes can be enhanced further. So like, you know, extra damage increase, furthermore, extra damage increase. Um, you have like, for example, um, health potions over here that I've unlocked. You have, uh, whenever you die, your next playthrough, you'll keep part of your gold. Uh, this is the other one that you saw why I had certain weapons. Your starting weapon is randomly drawn from those that you have unlocked. And I also have one with ranged weapons as well. So that's pretty cool. And you can see there's a bunch of different weapon types that I have unlocked as of now. These are not all of them, but I've got like Spiteful Sword, Blood Sword, Twin Dagger, Cursed Weapon, uh, Bow and Infinite Arrows, inf or Infantry Bow, uh, Heavy Crossbow, Throwing Knife. And these are, some of them are active. Some of them are, are um, like actual weapon types. We've got like Whip, uh, Rapier, Burning Mace, Frantic Sword. And it's cool because each weapon kind of does something different. Um, and each one can be paired in a special way, which is really cool. And that's kind of what I like is you get to add your own little your own little twist and style when you play through the game. And there are some really, really OP combinations. Once you clear the area, you can heal to full and you can refill all of your flasks. And then you move on to the next zone. Now, I do have to be a little cautious here because if I get hit, I do die. So I'm going to play kind of defensive for now. There are also shields that you can use in the game, um, which would completely mitigate attacks. And I do believe you can even do like a double shield combo because I believe there is an offensive shield. I don't know too much about it. I haven't bothered with shields because um, to use a shield properly, you have to actually know the attack animation of the mobs. And I don't really have all the attack animations memorized. Um, so I kind of stay away from using shields for now. All right, one more mob and we're in the clear. And we're clear. Curse has been lifted, very nice. Okay, so let's go here. I can actually play kind of YOLO now. So this was like a speedrun area I was explaining. I did not get there in time, therefore I do not get any of the loot. And I don't even know exactly what's in there. It's just money, so it's nothing too crazy. This is a health up, so that's pretty nice. The combat is extremely smooth, uh, which I was not expecting. At first glance when I saw this, I was kind of just like, eh, what is this? So here's a recipe, Ice Bow, a rare blueprint. So if I were to die right now, I would not actually unlock that blueprint. I've never even found that before, so I'm gonna do my best to actually complete this now and not die. <laughs> now, there are secrets, like I was explaining, that are hidden in the walls, 
They're always pretty much in the corners of the wall. There are a few that are not. And it looks like a rune. If you have any weapons that home in, they'll actually like, like the whip for example, they'll actually unlock the secret for you, uh, which is pretty OP. And they usually have gold or like carrots in them and carrots are used for just healing yourself. Okay, let's, I don't know why I did that. That was not smart. Explosion mob. That's actually my one of my favorite uh, actives right here is the kunai storm. Or a knife storm. Knife storm is like OP. You basically click it and it shoots like fan of knives around you. And stacks bleeds on targets. Uh, this is just a chest room. What the hell is that? Oh, this is the saw blade thing. So each, each um, piece of gear rolls different stats on it. So this is like 30% damage, fires a volley of arrows. So when I activate it, it fires a volley of arrows and then enemies hit, explode upon death. But I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to use it. Let's see what is here. Nice. We get to pick one. I'm actually going to pick plus to skills. We have a shop over here as well. Um, really important actually that I grab this health. So I'm going to make sure we just kill a few more mobs. And then grab it. I do not want the cursed chest. So we're just going to skip him. Say no thank you, bro. So like right there, I used my flashbang to actually stun the uh, little leech dude. Which was pretty nice because like... Um, the, the game is like so smooth. That's what I really like about this game. Compared to a lot of roguelikes I've played. I feel like when you play a game that's built around, uh, I kind of, I guess you could say like player skill, it's really important to make sure the game feels, it feels smooth. If it doesn't feel smooth, like you're just going to get fucking frustrated because you try to do something and you know, you're trying to like outplay the game with one HP and the game's like, nope, just kidding. I'm surprised I'm not getting any gold. This is weird. I don't know why this is the case. Did I do something to prevent me from getting gold? <laughs> I'm only getting cells. That's very odd. Confirmed I'm still a little baby noob at this game. Alright, what do we have over here? Let's take this teleporter over here. Also, not all monsters can be, like, cheese. Um, okay, that really fucking hurt. There are elites that can spawn, uh, and elites, when they're dropped below, like, 50% life, have, like, an enrage mechanic. And their enrage mechanic basically makes them teleport to you constantly, so it's a lot harder to just, like, you know, stay in a safe spot and try to off-screen them. I'm really confused as to why I'm not getting any gold, though. Is this just like bonus cells and no gold? And that's old sewers, too. Let's see what else we've got over here. I want that HP up so bad. What is this? This is a lightning bolt, um, which is actually pretty interesting because it gives plus one strength. So if I were to actually use that, it would increase the damage of my blood sword because it gives plus one strength. Oopsies. But I really do not like the lightning bolt weapon. I haven't found any secrets either. Either I'm retarded and I'm like playing a different game or this is just like such a unique run. Oh, there's an elite. Okay, that's an elite zombie. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna try to off-screen him just a little bit for a second. Now, these guys hit, like, really fucking hard. Okay, I wanna try to get him in. He's actually about to enrage, like, right now. 
Okay, that's his enrage, so you'll watch he'll actually start teleporting like crazy now. YOLO. And he almost one-shot me. He is about to one-shot me. <laughs> okay, my active's about to be up. Got him. Nice. That actually gave me some money. Uh, so jump, let's see, damage taken reduced by 10%. Jump attacks burn enemies. Uh, versus collect cells and goals without needing to be in range. Honestly, I'm going to take the damage mitigation for now. I think it's going to be better. So let's go back over here and we can actually pick up our health now. That's awesome. And there's a frantic sword over there. I'm going to assume that's probably going to be a much better than my blood sword considering I'm just using a basic blood sword. And we can climb this. What do we have for our frantic sword? This is... Okay, so this is damage 20%, damage dealt times 2, damage received times 2. I don't know how I like that, though, because that's... I basically take 2 times damage. Mm, oh, well, let's do it. It's, it's to make for a fun YouTube playthrough anyway, so... Uh, we can go this way here. So we're going to try to stay below 50% because I can essentially one-shot pretty much any basic mob right now. I should be able to just like insta-give him because the frantic sword... Yeah, there we go. The frantic sword has a guaranteed crit, so it's basically if you're low life, you get guaranteed crit. Okay. Uh, yep. The other interesting thing is, like, there is life leech in this game, sort of. Basically, if you get hit, you kind of get, like, a little bit of a red bar. You get, like, a red... Actually, I'm just gonna take this instead. I don't want to have to... Nah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Okay, you have, like, a red bar, which basically what the red bar is, is it's kind of like... Um, like a, I'm gonna call it, like, a YOLO phase. You have the ability to leech back the HP that you lost. So that's pretty interesting. Alright. We did get our recipe, so that's cool. I got my ice bow. Which means I could actually... Um, I'm pretty sure I can unlock it. Yeah, it's only 15. So, 15. And I'll show you what I mean. It'll drop it on the floor so you can kind of test it. So, frost-related, slowdown lasts four times longer, shoots, pierce all enemies. Ammo, three. Do I get it back? Yeah, and then you would, you would get it back. That's pretty crazy, though. I think that's pretty sick. Here, I'll, I'll test it out just to see what it's like. And I can also unlock my heavy crossbow, or heavy, heavy ballista. So this one, let me see how this one would work out. Oh man, this is pretty, this is pretty insane too. <laughs> wow. That's a pretty cool weapon. I still want to try this ice one out though. Uh, oh yeah, I need to spend my cells. So let me just spend them on, let's see. What am I using right now? Frantic sword, right? Just curse sword. Um... Do I already have it? Here it is. Frantic Sword. Alright. Now, this is again, like, I highly would not recommend doing what I'm doing right now, using a weapon with, like, two times damage taken, because uh, you are prone to essentially getting insta-gibbed, uh, and that's not really very good. <laughs> so you typically want to stay away from stuff like this. But it makes for fun. Wow, this is actually an insane combo, though. This bow? Because you can just do this. What? This bow is OP! This bow is busted! Okay. 
Okay. Where am I going? Uh, that's a guaranteed elite spawn, so let's see what elite we get. Okay, he is now enraged. He almost one-shot me. Let's get him with a little flashbang, and he's dead. What do we have here? I don't want that. That's okay. I don't need that for any reason. Oh, there's a scorpion, actually. Now, I would always try to recommend, especially if you're newer. Okay, so like that almost one shot me. And there's like super leech. Yeah, like, oh my god, that leech is insane. Holy crap. <laughs> I would personally recommend that you use some type of ranged weapon that homes in, like a kunai or a whip. Because it makes it so that killing these ranged mobs, or sorry, the flying monsters, is extremely easy. So this would be a secret right here, right? You can kind of see it. Okay, okay, I don't want to die. This would be a secret right here. And this would actually unlock an area. And if you complete this area within the time limit without getting hit, you get... Uh, you get some gear. Or at least a chance at something good for you. I have to actually go here too. Okay, this is kind of awkward though. So I'll just do this. No, no, no let me down. Okay. Whew, that was a little close. What's down here? Okay. This ice bow is actually, like, super good. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that was a little close. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That was it. <laughs> the challenge was done after that. Feels bad, man. Alright, we got another chest. What do we have here? This is actually another ice bow. Fire an arrow behind you. Shots pierce the first target. So I actually got super lucky. The, the affix I rolled on my bow was pierce all targets. I thought that was like just innately like that. This mushroom is a pain in the ass. I'm dead. I knew it. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So if you jump from too far, you'll actually get stunned. And if you get stunned, you're prone to pretty much getting instigated, especially when you take two times damage. Um... But yeah, so that's pretty much the game. It can go a lot more fast paced. I'll actually have an upload video here of like, of a VOD of basically me playing through it. But if you guys are curious to check it out, it's on Steam. I think it's in early access. I'm pretty sure it's in early, actually I know it's in early access. Um, and I think it just got into early access like last week. So that's pretty much the playthrough of the game. Um, there are bosses and whatnot. Like I said, I'll showcase them in the playthrough that I upload. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Really, really fucking fun game. I'd highly recommend for you guys to check it out. There's a bunch of different fun combinations you can see here. I believe these are like the items that I've unlocked, and I'm sure there's a couple more, or maybe these are all of them for right now. Um, and I think they said that they only have like maybe 50% of, of the content currently. I think they said they're adding like a shit ton more, but don't quote me on that. I don't know exactly how much. Uh, let me see if I can actually just find you guys a little secret here. 
what it looks like normally because I didn't find any before. Or are they? There's like these runes that stick into the wall. Come on here, where, where are my runes that stick in the wall? Any of them? Yeah, okay, well I just I just got it, but okay, you see this right here? That's what it would look like. And then there's pretty much either gold that you can see here like this, uh, or like some type of uh, like carrot to heal you. Anyway, that's pretty much about it, like I said. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.